What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plants and in today's video we are flipping through two new sticker books from Calva Plan. These are releasing on Friday, August 4th at 10 a.m. Central Time and my affiliate link is down in the description box. So if you decide to pick anything up from this release or anything else from Calva Plan, I hope you'll consider shopping with my with my link. Hold on, let me take a swig. I just finished filming an epically long video. It took a lot of time and a lot of talking. I mean, catch my breath. You guys see these videos kind of one at a time as standalones, but for some of us, we actually film multiple videos in one sitting and it's several hours of work. <laughs> so I'm a little parched. Okay. Kelva Plan Fall Icons Volume 2 and Fall Florals Volume 3. Let's get into it. I might throw one of these in a uh, journal today as well so we can play around with it. So let's start with, let's start with Fall Florals. Love the colors. Very, actually love these colors together. I think these are so pretty. Fall Florals Volume 3. Volume 3 from Kelva Plan. Let's get into it. I love that I haven't seen either of these sticker books yet. I haven't flipped through them, so we're going to do this together. Let me make sure I am zoomed in enough so you guys can see see everything. Ooh, I want to make sure you can see all of it. There we go. I think that's going to do it. All right, so the first page is our boxes, functional boxes for a classic vertical, and then you also have your bullets down here. So those were a simple functional boxes. Then we have decorative and functional boxes with the florals kind of already pre-designed pre on here. I have been loving using these boxes like scrapbook paper. Might do that today. We'll see. Then we have large double verticals. This looks like a triple vertical. These are double verticals. And we've got our checklists and bullets. And then here's our first set of fall florals so pretty. These are clear decorative florals. And then same florals, but you're going to get them in a different design. These are full bleed stickers, so they can go all the way to the bottom of the page and just kind of come alive, which is really nice. And these are going to match, let me go back, these are going to match these boxes. So this whole set of, how many pages was that? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a collection. Now we're getting into the next collection of fall florals. A little bit darker, a little bit more red in here. Ooh, because we're getting some autumnal decor with some pumpkins. Then we have our double vertical, triple vertical boxes. And then our clear illustrations. These are like watercolor pumpkins. Very pretty. And then second page with a little bit more floral to offset the pumpkins. This is really pretty. I like these spindly guys coming out from the corner pieces. So that was a collection. Ooh, now we've got some pretty blues and purples. And a new, this I call these paper florals. I don't know why, I guess because I've seen like rolled paper florals like that. And then you have your double vertical and your checklist. And then your decorative clear florals. Pretty colors. Ooh, these are more pastel-y, but I like this navy. It's like a, yeah, it's like a blue-gray. I see we're getting into Halloween with our decorative and functional boxes. A little spooky house there. Our double and triple verticals. Ooh, and then our black roses. That's cool. Very cool. Ooh, this is so pretty. I like that with the little baby ghost. That's really cute. Every time I see a new set of colors, I'm like, ooh, what illustrations are going to go with that? Ooh, ooh, they're like real life florals. <gasps> That's pretty. That's very pretty. Ooh, I might want to use these ones today. <gasps> Might want to use these ones today. So pretty. I love them with the wheat, sprigs of wheat. And then we have the larger version. And this might be the last collection, functional boxes. 
so cute with the little red trucks. More pumpkins. This is more of a pinky, sagey colorway. And our decor with the with the uh, trucks. There are pumpkins that big, by the way. I've seen them at state fairs. Insane. Giant pumpkins that would fit on the back of a truck like that. All right, so there is Fall Florals Volume 3. Let's take a look at Fall Icons. I think Fall Icons Volume 1 might have been the first sticker book I ever purchased from Kelva Plan. And it's still one that I really, really like. So let's see how she has stepped it up for volume two. Really like these colors. Yes. So same theme or same idea where you've got your functional boxes on page one, your functional and decorative in different sizes on page two. Decorative boxes for three, page three, but in the double and triple vertical. And then, oh, these colors are so pretty. These are really pretty. Here are your fall icons. Got your little kind of front foyer or foyer area. Like the little mason jars, the pumpkins and the gals holding their pumpkins. Oh, that's cute. A little pumpkin wheelbarrow, like a garden house. I like their capes, that's cool. And we're getting into the next collection. This is probably gonna be fancier. These look like fancy chic colors. Yep. So you can see the pumpkins have fun little designs on them like polka dots and hearts and stars. We have our decorative boxes. Wait, did I miss one? Yeah, functional, functional decorative, larger boxes, and then our decorative stickers that are always on clear. I love that there's a bunch of these pumpkins. This is gonna be really fun in the fall, which is coming up fast, you guys. I've got some blues and kind of mustardy colors, which lends a hand for scarves and sunflowers. Ooh, and like, what is that? That looks like caramel drizzle in our bigger boxes. Deco stickers. That's cool. So it's a Polaroid. She's holding the Polaroid and the picture's coming up. And it's a picture of her reading a book and it's this picture. Fun! That's really fun. More fall icons. Happy fall, y'all. Oh, I bet this is, what is it called? Caramel apple cider, maybe? Cute. Oh my goodness. So this is going to be fun. I bet this is going to be Halloween-y. Like bright Halloween. Yep. So we have all of our different candies and pumpkins. I'm just going to say pumpkin because it just, it feels good. I know it's with an M, but I like saying pumpkin. And we have our decorative stickers. I'm not a big Halloween person, but I can appreciate a cute sticker. And I can appreciate cupcakes. I can always appreciate cupcakes. <laughs> so cute. Speaking of cupcakes, this is a bit of a tangent. But I got the best little surprise box from Plan with Elise on my 40th, for my 40th. And they were these little bite-sized um, cupcakes, like one-bite cupcakes from, I think, Baked by Melissa or Melissa Bakes or something like that. Shipped to me. Oh, my goodness. So good. I'm a big, like, carby, sweet, baked treat person. Like pie, for example. All right. Next collection. Sorry, I'm talking through things. Let's go back. So here we're getting more towards kind of Thanksgiving with the autumnal colors, traditional colors. This is very Thanksgiving-y. Look, you got your cranberry sauce, your front door decked out, your uh, turkey. Ooh, you got the full meal here. That's cute with the pie at the top for that vertical sticker. Love these. Happy Thanksgiving. Give thanks. Decorative stickers. This is like a whole, you could do a whole scene in your planner with the turkey and all the fixins. Look with the green bean casserole, sweet potatoes, yams, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Look at this. This is one giant sticker. I am so excited to use this. You guys get this sticker book now before Thanksgiving, before October, because it will probably sell out. And I'm guessing that a fall seasonal sticker book is not going to be restocked. 
So for both of these, actually, if you're a big fall person, it's really smart that she's releasing these in August so that you have them and you're like way set for October, November, because these, this collection of stickers will be so great for November. All right. I think this is the final collection and this is a oh, very cute, oh, little Corgi, an old flannel blanket. That's cute. So this is very kind of traditional fall. You've got your barn and your sunflowers, your pumpkins, kind of more traditional autumnal, ooh, it's a little spaniel, autumnal colors. This is very cute. This is very up my alley. You guys know I like to do scenes. <gasps> Might need to do a scene. Might need to do a scene today. Very cute. Very, very cute. So that is Fall Icons Volume 2. I was trying to think what could I do, just a quick plan with me um, to show you guys how how I would and will be using these stickers. And I thought actually doing my September monthly in my baby journal would be the best thing. I know that it is not September yet, it's August, but y'all know I'm trying to, trying to show you guys the potential here. Um, so do I wanna do, I think I wanna do the fall icons because those, these ones at the end are just calling to me big time. So I think what I'm gonna do is just to show you guys the potential here, because these are so pretty. I'm gonna decorate September, which it's so funny because in Texas, where both Heather and I live, September is kind of still summer for us, at least seasonally, it's still super hot. It's not quite sweater weather, not quite sweater weather, but uh, I'm gonna do this anyways. I'm gonna do this anyways to hearken in the season. So I love these full bleed stickers because you can go pretty much all the way across to the end of the page where it kind of just falls off. Yep, 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 yep. So pretty. I definitely want, oh, let's grab her monthly basics sticker book um, because she's got, really cool let me go to the black boxes if I haven't used them all um oh yeah I think I already I used this a couple weeks ago I'm going to see if this fits in a twin loop does it fit in a twin loop it does not fit in a twin loop but I think that's okay so what I'm going to do is take this box here and Maybe I'll add a quote or something, but for now, I'm gonna throw this down here, kind of centered. And I think I wanna add, let's see if this little basket, the basket will fit. I think so. So I'm going to, oh, I pulled up some paper, I'm gonna try to Pull this guy off, pull the excess paper off, and then grab my scissors, which have magically disappeared. Nope, here they are. And I want some correction. I'm gonna take these, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna use this. Take out the black line on the calendar page and the box. And I'm going to put this here like so and maybe let's do a pile of blankets perhaps just to fill this in yes 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 uh definitely want to use move this guy out of the way I want to use the barn um, where would I want the barn to go? I guess I could throw it like here. So for that, I would want to take out some lines. So I'm going to put this on. Uh oh. Of course, I picked the pen that is dead. Let's see if this one's. I have a million of these. I'm going to take out this line. This is a Uniball Signo Broad white gel pen. And it's my favorite for these kind of detail, um, 
detail moments where I want to remove really thin lines. I don't want a huge like correction tape strip down in my planner. Let's see if I'm even close to having enough taken out for this to fit. That's okay if the pumpkins are on the line. And I'm gonna go a little bit further. I'll let that just kind of set for a second before I press it down. And let's see. Oh, this is a big day. This is Esther's first day at a daycare. She's doing three mornings a week. And um, we're really excited for her to get some playtime with other kiddos. So I'm going to put this right here. Apologies, guys. I had to stop the video um, and take a break back in the house. So I don't remember what I was just saying as I was working through this. So uh, we're just going to keep going. But this day, this is Esther's first day going to daycare. Oh, that's probably what I was talking about. Um, three days a week in the mornings. So she can interact with kids and um, yeah, I think that's going to be good for her developmentally. My mom, praise the Lord, truly praise the Lord, is uh, coming back for my work year, my academic year, so that, um, yeah, so that she can, when we're, when I'm working, um, and when she's not, um, uh, at daycare, she's with my mom, and I just absolutely love, I love that for Esther, to be with family, but then also to have the opportunity to hang out with other kids. So I added this here over uh, September 11th, also known as um, Patriot Day, because this is actually Josh's birthday. So before September 11th, 2001, September 11th, 1981, is uh, celebrated because it's the birth of my husband. And this, September 14th, is the birth of Uncle Joseph, everyone's favorite uncle, my brother Joseph, JT. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. There might be more things I wanna mark this month, but for now, I just wanna put those boxes in and yeah, have a little bit of fun with decorating. So I think I want, um, do you want to add pumpkins? Like pumpkins with the spaniel? The spaniel's super cute, or the corgi. Hmm. I think that's really cute. I don't want to cover Rosh Hashanah. Um, maybe, I'll put that back. Maybe we just do one pumpkin so it doesn't take up quite as much space. And I could put it on this side. So let's do that. Although, I didn't even, yeah, I mean, I could use the pre-decorated ones, but I'm liking adding black to this spread, so we're going to stick with these, and there aren't monthly boxes in, in this collection, so I'm going to throw that right there, just for a little thumb something. And actually, I wonder if in the monthly basics, I think this book is still available, by the way, you guys. So <clears throat> if you're liking these kind of custom fit for monthly pages, then um, yeah, this is also kind of a plan. Um, we can add, let's see, is Labor Day on here? Probably, ooh, and it's red. I wonder if she was mindful of colors and stuff. Um, that's kind of cool. Is birthday on here? Any birthday stickers? Mm, I don't think there are any birthday stickers. Let's go back a little bit. Uh, I don't think so. Nope. Um, let's see. Let's see what color Rosh Hashanah is. 
if it's in this sticker book. There's Rosh Hashanah in black. Rosh Hashanah. <clears throat> I'll put this here. Let's see if we can cover it. We can. And then autumn begins. So it's the first day of fall. We could use the first day of fall sticker. Yay! Cute. So we're going to do first day of fall right there. And I feel like we do need some more lovin', more decorative lovin'. So I'm thinking, do we want to go with the halloween -y pumpkins? I kind of want a truck. Let's do a truck. I can get him to fit underneath the first day of fall. I wonder how many spreads we'll see this year transitioning summer to fall. I might do that in a disc bound, you know, where people do basically this top section is like summery and then it transitions into autumn. Mm, I love a spread like that. I might have to do that this year. So I think I want to put the truck here, but I want to take out the lines. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're trucking on into October. And hopefully covered enough here. Sure did. Now, I feel like I don't like that these are on top of each other. So I might need to, did I already press these guys down? I might need to fill this in just a little bit more to kind of bring this out to kind of balance out so it's not like two stickers just on top of each other, do y'all see what I'm talking about? So maybe since I haven't introduced a dog, maybe I can add, uh, yeah, I'm gonna add another house down here. This is why I love icon related sticker books is because you can do little, little scenes. That bring me joy, make me happy. I'll take that out. Pop this guy right here. And then I want to make sure I take out just enough of that black line. I think we want to go just about to there. And probably wait a little bit longer for it to dry, but I'm feeling impatient. We'll just let that sit. And I feel like I need to connect maybe this together. So I'm gonna grab another potted plant, maybe a bigger, let me move this over so you guys can see what I'm doing. I've got a variety of different potted plants here. Let's see if this guy is a good size to kind of throw. A little too big. Throw that back down. I could just add another cluster of pumpkins. Let's do that. Like right here. And use some of that pen again. Kind of knock, knock the line down. We'll just layer it a little bit. That works, so it kind of like moves the whole, see how this was very, you know, on top of each other, so I'm kind of trying to move things over. I know these colors are the same. That's something that wouldn't bother most people, but it's something I'm aware of just when it comes to balance and stuff, but that's okay. I notice it, but I'm letting it go. So this twin loop, this is a classic Happy Planner twin loop, and I use it as a baby journal for Esther. It's just a horizontal. It's an 18 months, so it'll end in December. December, And uh, so I don't need this for a lot of functionality. It's really just calling out maybe things in the month that Esther might wanna know about, things that happened in September. So I think, do we wanna add anything else? We've got the corgi, so we don't wanna have the corgi in there again we could add something here like a little potted plant we don't really have much yellow so what if we added the i wonder if there's a smaller yellow potted plant 
Mm. Oh, that's different. No, I want to go with the yellow. I'm going to grab this yellow potted plant and I think it would look well see then that's on top of that so maybe we go on this side what do we think of that looking for balance I think we need a pumpkin over here since we already have a cluster of flowers so let's go back and look at the pumpkins but I don't want it to be too matchy matchy with this one so perhaps we go with the pair of pumpkins. And maybe I should have put that underneath Labor Day. I'm kind of feeling that. Let's see if I can lift up the Labor Day sticker. Might be too late. But let's try. Mm -hmm. Just ripped it. But I think I can save it. Okay, so I'm going to put the pumpkins here. And then I'm gonna put the Labor Day sticker kind of, maybe I should trim this a little bit so there's a little less white. Did not cut that straight. It's the risk you take, guys. The risk you take. Okay, so narrowed that out just a little bit so that we can see a little bit more of the pumpkin. And since I did the other holidays center, I wanna stick with that being centered. Cool, cool and cute. I do feel like we need a little something, something up there. Let's grab, um, hmm. I guess we could take a September sticker while we're at it, right? It's a little yellow though. Hold on, let's see. Oh, here's an orange one. Let's take an orange or a red. Let's take an orange September. I'm not sure this is gonna fit. Definitely not gonna fit. So we're not gonna do that. I take it back, it's not gonna happen. Do we want to do any other boxes or I feel like we do need something up here, but I want it to be, I feel like it needs to be grounded or like sitting on a box. Maybe, maybe we do the corgi on the back of the truck or I'm gonna take the notes out and then see if I can envision one of these stickers going up at the top. Hmm. Maybe, maybe this is where we put the yellow. Do we want to incorporate yellow? We can. Maybe we just throw this right here like so. I'm not a big fan of putting things kind of floating, so we could grab the monthly, go back to the monthly basics and grab a black box and ground it. Ground the pot on a box. Like right under it. Just like that. Okay, do we want to do anything else or, or have we played to our heart's contentment, our heart's delight? I wonder if there are any flowers. So this was the Fall Icons Volume 2. Let's see if there's any fall florals that would match the colors here that are just florals. I don't want... Uh, you guys remember I said how much I liked these flowers they match but these are more like watercolor and then these are like real life mm. Mm. and I do love ripped paper mm. I'm gonna have to save this for another spread 
I'm gonna have to save it. I'm gonna do this on a different spread because I'm gonna go a little bit too nuts if I, yeah, if I try to add florals on here. I know it looks a little empty, but once you start writing in it, it's gonna be just fine. Oh, Yom Kippur, hold on. Was there a Yom Kippur sticker? Um, let's see. Yep, there is a Yom Kippur sticker. So it's kind of nice. It looks like these are in calendar order. So I'm gonna trim this one as well, like I did with the Labor Day sticker, just so that we've got a little more room to see the decorative stuff underneath. Okay. And I'm gonna add this right. I like putting in the Jewish holidays. Fun fact, I am a believer and I am also Jewish. How about them cookies? How about them apples? <laughs> okay, I think as tempted as I am to pull some fall florals, I'm going to leave this just as is. So, everybody, Fall Icons Volume 2, Fall Florals Volume 3 are what we looked at today. These are available again at kelvaplan.com on Friday, August 4th at 10 a.m. Central Time. And my affiliate link is down in the description box. It doesn't cost you anything, just the mindfulness to click to her website through that link. Let's Heather know that I'm doing a good job showing you products and I would get a small commission off of your purchase. So thank you in advance for using that link. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time. And if you want to hang out with me again and you want to see how I use the florals in this sticker book, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you do something creative today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.